Welcome to Kids Academy. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another. Nelson Mandela said these words in 1994 when giving his first speech as a president of the Republic of South Africa. He became a real superhero for the people of Africa and an inspiring example of a fighter for justice and freedom for the whole world. What was it that he did? The real name of the future hero was Holilala, which translates from the African language Sosa as troublemaker. Holilala Mandela was born in 1918 in a small African village. His father was the head of the village. Seeing his dad's good example, the boy learned what it meant to be responsible for the people who trusted you. From his early childhood, Holy Lala heard stories about how the peoples of Africa had been suffering at the hands of white men who came from Europe by water. Those stories sank deep into the little boy's heart. Holy Lala was the first in his family to go to school. It was a missionary school where the boy received his new English name, Nelson. Although the times of slavery were long gone, the non-white people of Africa were still oppressed. Millions of Indian, Chinese, Malaysian, and especially black Africans couldn't live happily because of segregation, which means dividing people based on their skin color and ethnicity. In South Africa, such division was called apartheid. The laws of apartheid were the following. Non-white people couldn't live where they wanted. Special houses without electricity and running water were built for them. They couldn't study where they wanted, only in specialized schools, colleges, and universities. They couldn't work where they wanted because the best jobs were given to white people, while people of color were doing heavy work that was badly paid. They couldn't start a family with who they wanted because marriage between white and black people was forbidden by law. It was not the world in which Nelson Mandela wanted to live. He wished to see a world where all people would have equal rights and opportunities no matter what their skin color was. Nelson Mandela believed in the transformative power of education. That's why he studied a lot. He learned the English language, psychology, philosophy, politics, and law. Later on, he would say, education is the most powerful weapon you can utilize to transform the world. In 1943, Nelson Mandela took part in his first mass protest. It was a nine-day protest against raising bus ticket fares, and it was a success. Since then, the young man started to take active part in the political life of his country. He traveled a lot to different cities and spoke before the oppressed people to inspire them to fight for their rights. In 1952, together with his friend Oliver Tambo, Nelson Mandela opened a law company which helped black people defend their rights in court free of charge. The same year, Nelson Mandela was at the head of a huge mass protest known as the Defiance Campaign. Thousands of people of different ethnicities and skin colors went out into the streets of South Africa. They demanded better housing, equal pay, the voting right, and an end of apartheid overall. However, people's voices were not heard by the white government. In 1964, for his active fighting against apartheid, Nelson Mandela was sent to prison for a life sentence. He was then 46 years old. The conditions in prison were very tough. For a long time, Nelson Mandela lived in a solitary cell, slept on the cold floor, and had to do hard, meaningless work. However, those things didn't break him. He studied from prison and managed to receive a Bachelor of Laws degree from the University of London. He demanded and achieved better living conditions for himself and other prisoners. He also exchanged a lot of letters with activists who were against apartheid. Meanwhile, people all over the world were fighting for Nelson Mandela's freedom. They organized demonstrations and demanded his release from prison. But only on February 11th of 1990, Nelson Mandela was finally out of jail. He had spent 27 years there. 
This event was broadcasted and celebrated all around the world. For his strength of mind and devotion to serve people, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. In 1994, Nelson Mandela won the first democratic presidential election in which citizens of all skin colors and races took part equally. Nelson Mandela became the first black president of the Republic of South Africa. He ended apartheid and put all his effort and diplomatic talent into making South Africa a truly multinational country with equal rights for all. Nelson Mandela used to say, It is so easy to break down and destroy. The heroes are those who make peace and build. Nelson Mandela was a real hero. He lived to be 95 years old and died surrounded by his big family from which he had been separated for so many years. 